Long before there was a Milwaukee Soldier's Home, the national landmark for veterans at risk for homelessness, there was the West Side Soldiers Aid Society and a group of young women, including Lydia Eli Hewitt, Fannie Burling Buttrick, and Hannah Vetter, led the way in caring for Civil War soldiers in need. So I think um, they weren't feminists. They wouldn't have known what to do with that word. But they certainly believed in their own ability and responsibility to do something for the soldiers. In the early stages of the Civil War, Milwaukee women began to organize. On October 19, 1861, a meeting was called here, in the basement of Summerfield Methodist Church, to launch the Milwaukee Ladies Association for the Aid of Military Hospitals. As time went on, different volunteer groups started forming. As one historian at the time said, the most important auxiliary society in the city was the West Side Soldiers Aid Society, organized December 15, 1862. Its members included Lydia Eli Hewitt, Fanny Burling Buttrick, Hannah Pierce Vetter, and Martha Reed Mitchell. Hi, I'm Jim Peck. Welcome to I Remember. Joining me tonight is Patricia Lynch. In 2003, she co-founded the West Side Soldiers Aid Society. It was a rebirth of a Milwaukee women's organization formed during the Civil War to provide care for veterans. In the 1860s, their fundraising efforts helped support the establishment of a national soldier's home. This was uh, put in the Milwaukee Sentinel back in uh, somewhere around the 1860s by the women of the, the West Side Women's uh, Soldiers Aid Society. And it goes as follows, when the contest for right is over and the thousands of sturdy sons of Wisconsin return from the havoc of battle, maimed, crippled, and helpless for life, a home of magnificent proportions for which we have not marble white enough must be built. This temporary resting place may prove the cornerstone of a permanent home for our battle-scarred heroes for all time to come. The women were creating a temporary home uh, it's on uh, Plankington, that mm. was West Water Street, uh, between Wisconsin and uh, Wells. They started with one storefront at 207 West Water and eventually uh, rented four or five more. And what did they do there? Uh, they had beautiful living quarters. Uh, so they were caring for the sick, feeding uh, the men as they passed through, giving vocational counseling and vocational assistance, bailing the men out of jail. Where'd they get the money to do this? Uh, they were prominent young women of Milwaukee. Uh, and, um, well, for example, Alexander Mitchell uh, was one of their supporters. And they just threw... Was his wife involved in this? She was. Mm -hmm. She was the involved in almost Mitchell. every philanthropic effort in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. In certain ways, they're doing what they know. But having said that, I think the kind of effort that led to this soldier's home is a, a, an example of women certainly transcending limitations, exerting some power, isn't quite the word for it, agency we might call it, uh, onto society, and really really shaping the way this home took, took um, uh, became a reality. Our reenactors portraying Lydia and Fanny are back to explain why they got involved with the contemporary West Side Soldiers Aid Society. My name is Terry Arliscus, and I'm here with Deborah Kynert to talk about the resurrected West Side Soldiers Aid Society. The uh, society was reformed in 2003 by Patricia Lynch, who lived in uh, Greenfield, Wisconsin. And I, Deborah Kynert, had worked um, in the Civil War reenactments as a Civil War nurse, and I worked in close conjunction with the West Side Soldiers Aid Society. In 2005, we got hooked up with a uh, company of Marines that were stationed in a very remote part of Afghanistan and actually fed them for nine months. Marine Terrence Patrick McGowan received some of those care packages, and he wrote about it in his book, The Silence of War. 
The irony struck me like a thunderbolt. There we were, fighting in the most modern war to date, with technology I couldn't have dreamed of 35 years prior when I was an active duty Marine. Being supported with food and essentials by the Civil War Soldiers Aid Society. The past and present, the Civil War and the Afghanistan War, collided and coalesced at a tiny obscure military post in the Western Afghanistan desert. The conduit between the two conflicts was the West Side Soldiers Aid Society, helping hands had reached across time. During the run of the West Side Soldiers Aid Society, we raised over $8,000 that went to a variety of different causes, um, all of which supported our veterans. And of course, at that time, I had my own son serving in the service, spending some time in Iraq. So I think that my heart was always partnered with your cause, and we did send a lot to those soldiers. We certainly did. And I got involved. I was a veteran myself. My father was a World War II and Korean War veteran. He and my mother are both buried at Wood National Cemetery. The West Side Soldiers Aid Society. Currently, it is disbanded. Um, of course, COVID had a lot to do with that, but it's going to take another Lydia and another Fanny to resurrect it this time. But you know, when my son came back from the war in Iraq, he was watching us um, continuing to carry on in our Civil War garb and remembering our soldiers. And he said something very poignant to me. He said, you know, when I see you, remembering soldiers who fought all that many years ago, it gives me hope that in the future, they will not forget the sacrifices that we made and the lost fallen that we had to leave behind. It gives us hope of being remembered. And I think the ladies would be pleased that one of the last actions of the West Side Soldiers Aid Society was taking the money that we still had in our account and donating that to the refurbished soldiers home and the, the women's wing for women veterans and their children. These women in the society raised even more money to bring a permanent soldiers home to Milwaukee. They did it by organizing a fair. We'll take you there on the next The Women Founders Milwaukee Soldiers Home. <laughs>